Okay. All right. Goodbye. Thank you. I'm Richard Uslin at iDefendYou.com. If you found this video, you or someone you know has been arrested in Bridgewater, New Jersey for shoplifting. Most commonly, people are arrested for shoplifting something from a merchant uh, with a value of under $200. Despite that, you could be charged with a disorderly persons offense in our criminal statutes, face a $500 fine, 10 days of community service, actually a $1,000 fine, 10 days of community service, and up to 180 days in the county jail. However, for a first offense of shoplifting, a jail term isn't likely. There are many opportunities in, New, in Bridgewater, New Jersey in particular, to commit the act of shoplifting. There's the Bridgewater Commons Mall that has Macy's, Bloomingdale's, um, Lloyd and Taylor. There are several retail establishments. They have video surveillance equipment they would try to use at time of trial. They have witnesses, uh, loss prevention agents posing as customers watching you. The penalties for shoplifting become more severe depending upon what the value of the merchandise is that the merchant is claiming you did not give them the retail value of, to the point where, in the extreme, you could be facing a second degree crime that can carry up to 10 years in state's prison. I know that because as an assistant Essex County prosecutor over 30 years ago, I prosecuted very serious theft cases. As a private practitioner, as a defense attorney, but also as a private prosecutor, I was hired by a well-established statewide retail establishment company that had chains of stores where people were arrested for shoplifting and I prosecuted them. This experience gives me insight as to how to defend these cases on your behalf. It's important that you have experienced legal counsel help you with this because if you're found guilty you'll have a criminal record and at a minimum if you're found guilty of shoplifting you would have that criminal record for a minimum five-year period from the time you complete your sentence before you may be eligible in a separate proceeding to file a petition to expunge that criminal arrest and conviction as well as processing documents that uh, were filed such as mugshots, fingerprints at the time of your arrest. Most importantly, you want to try to prevent the humiliation of having a theft, arrest, or conviction. Something that's going to be posted on the internet that may not be able to be removed. Something that appears in the newspaper. Something that will damage your reputation. I'm here to help you. And if you need further information about this, contact me at 908-725-1200 or visit my website, www dot i defend you dot com